All right, second graders. Today we really want a piece of paper that's a square. And my piece of paper is a rectangle, so I'm just gonna kind of cut some of it off so it's more of a square. I'm not really worried about it being super perfect. It's first check, it's first kind of at the bottom. So now I have a square of paper. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna divide our paper into fourths. And there's a really easy way to get very nice even fourths. And that's to fold it both ways. It doesn't have to be super perfect. No matter how you fold it, it's gonna end up pretty even. So now I have these, these fold lines that are gonna tell me what to do. And we're gonna draw the same thing in each square. Which sounds kind of weird, but we're gonna draw the same thing. We're gonna start with a circle, with a bigger circle, and a bigger circle. This doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, in the painting by Wassily Kandinsky that we looked at, they really aren't perfect. So, uh, well, it's not really in the center, but that's okay. We just wanna end up with a circle, and a circle, and a circle. And I'm going really fast right now. Then, we're gonna write something in all of these. So it's this one we're going to write. Actually, it doesn't really matter which one is which. We're going to write primary. And another one we're going to write secondary. And then warm and cool. All these words are probably pretty familiar to you because we've been, we talk about them all the time. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making our different colors. We're going to be using those different, we're gonna color the colors in our circles. So we're gonna start with primary and I know that you know, I would be shook if any of my second graders didn't know the primary colors. So we know primary colors are red and yellow and blue. And I know you guys know that much. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's not quite the right blue. It's okay. Okay, here's a, here's a more true blue. It doesn't have that kind of green tone in it. I'm using a really big box of crayons. So there are a lot of weirdo colors that are just a little bit off from what the true color is. Now we're gonna do secondary colors. This word is probably the one that's gonna be the most unfamiliar. So secondary, but you actually do know these colors. Secondary colors are the colors that we get when we mix the primary colors. So you know that when we mix, for example, when we mix red and yellow, we get orange. So it, does, it when we're coloring these, it really doesn't matter what order they're in. And we know when we mix red and blue, we end up with purple, or we can use the, fan, the really the true name of the color is really violet. And when we do things, we always call it violet. So that's purple or violet. And then we need green. And when we mix the yellow and blue, we always get green. Next, we're gonna do our warm colors and our cool colors. And I know that actually, I bet you guys know these ones too. So we know our warm colors are red and orange and yellow. Warm colors are always like the color of a fire or colors of the sun.
They're colors that make you feel warm. Red, yellow, and orange aren't the only colors that are warm. We'll talk about it a little bit another time, but those are the three main ones that you should always remember. And then we can do our cool colors. So our cool colors, of course, are gonna be, let's see, where is my blue? Well, we can start with purple. So our cool colors are gonna be purple or violet. Green. Hmm, this isn't quite a true green, but it's kind of a cool color. Cool color. <laughs> and blue. Let's see if I have a... There's like a true. And again, just like with the warm colors, purple, green, and blue aren't the only cool colors, but they're the three main ones. And any color that looks like one of these is gonna be a cool color. 